Have you ever seen three guys with a scrum under pressure this oh, happy? They're loving it. This is like bread and butter. Steak, eggs and chips. Right, yes, really, they are going to clear it away. See if they can produce a try out of this. Mermos, and maybe they have. I'll tell you what, that's Crossing what they... the far corner, Von Saint Clair. You sure? He's going to award. No, he's going to have a look. So the try has been awarded to Von Saint Clair, the right winger. So France finished with a try. It's taken them about 82 minutes to score one. Pretty much at all. France will get a bonus point out of this game. And the conversion is wide. But we have seen one of the great upsets in Rugby World Cup history. Tonga has beaten France. And uh, he'll be right in amongst the Australians, you can be sure of that. He'll be right in George Gregan's face. Touch. That is absolutely 100% sure. So, referee's still having problems, and this time it's because what he's doing is, uh, is wonderful. Penalty to England, and that sets him to Phil Vickery, his captain. Touch. An important scrummage for both teams. Good push by England. It just seems to have settled down Touch. just a little bit. The Andrew on the side is still making life difficult. Give them the hit up on the right hand side so they can open up this big right hand blind side. Robinson in at the number 10 position. That's a solid scrummage. Nick Easter controlling it. Listen to the crowd. Easter gets it, but it's fumbled. And England. I've lost you just confirming a try has been scored. Thank you. Knock-on, 19 knock-on.
pushing their way, they're over, it's a try. Ireland have scored their third try, somewhere underneath that melee of green shirts, it's a try scorer. It's Keith Wood. And Ireland have stolen it, there's Keith Wood, they won't stop him, they will not stop Keith Wood, he scores his second try. 16. Ireland are over the line, they've scored. Sidhume has given the try. It's a hat trick try for Keith Wood. Tom Billups with the throw. And Keith Wood with the steal and the score. Little chip. It's Keith Wood. It can't be a four. It is. It's astonishing. It's the Keith Wood show. It's four tries for the Irish hooker. But now the captain has got to run away, and that's the perfect touch. That is the perfect touch. The captain is probably going to score the last try today. Paul Henderson hasn't played for New Zealand since the tour of the United Kingdom in 93, was thinking of giving the game up at the end of last season. Try, and this is a day he'll never forget. Paul Henderson leads New Zealand to their biggest ever test victory. The Japanese players gave, as we knew they would, everything in the game, but they were simply outplayed and outclassed. And souvenirs for all the New Zealanders of a day that is one for the record books in Bloemfontein today. Mark Ellis, a wink for the camera there. And uh, Paul Henderson as well. A big day for Southland today. 145 to 17. with the kick. Test it now for him, and he's got it over. 17 minutes into the second half, England have levelled the scores at 6-6. And again, Chalmers moves it. Uh-oh. A dummy run in front of the ball by Scott Hastings, but he got away with it. Penalty to Scotland for killing the ball. Hastings from under 20 metres. And he's missed it, would you believe it? He sliced the kick. England have it again. What are they going to do this time? They buried it, they put it out. Andrew with the drop, goal is there! And England go into the lead, having pinned Scotland back, having pinned them back three, four, five times. They then released it, and Rob Andrew equals the world record for the number of drops.